say uh, the gym, the gym uh, for this door, they basically are the wrong gym. They are the uh, standard four, uh, five, sixteen gym. It's supposed to be a wider gym to accommodate the difference in wall thickness. Uh, right, dude. Right. So they use extension gyms, which look like you know. Look like crap. Like crap. Look at this, look what he did. I swear to God, these guys were under drugs. Now you see how this, right? Well, but look, look, no. look what he did, look. Over here, he put the flashing over the molding. Well, they no, have... no, normally nobody trim like this. I don't know why they trim like this either. Right. No so all this flashing trim is all... Well, you see we have a nice brick molding, uh, brick molding, and if anything, it goes nicely with the uh, covering brick molding, going jumping over J channel, so it looks nice. And right, looks nice. That's the thing. It looks nice, right? I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> Come in, let me see if you can see the light coming through the... You see, it's only certain times a day when the sun... Okay, so you can't see that. But, here, let me point out... Close the door. Now, look at the gap here, right? And then look at the size of the gap here. According how they they face the uh, uh, keeper on the door, but. Uh Well, there's something wrong here if that's bigger space here and this is a because this this gives you air and light coming through this is a metal door i mean um what is this gel gel weld whatever door you know they're not anything special metal door conduct a lot of cold too you know we don't really sell much of metal doors we're selling uh, fiberglass doors which are much uh, better energy efficient well i understand what metal does it conducts the heat yeah, or the heat cold. cold and everything and you know you can damp right away fiberglass basically is much more resistant uh, oh really you think it dents easily yeah, <laughs> you got, look dense. look i got one yeah, so on the front of it, it so, uh, so but, um, I don't know what you're looking for. I mean, uh, well, I just want to see if in order to get this right and look good the way it ought to, if I simply need to replace the whole thing, that's what I think, right? If you want to replace the whole thing, I mean, I can give you prices on it all. I can tell you, any doors we, we're selling are uh, made by Thermature Manufacturer, which is the biggest uh, uh, 
car manufacturer in Northeast. Uh, and, uh, that's the only basically manufacturer we sell for uh, mm -hmm. 27 years now. And, you know, we don't sell much of, uh, like I said, metal doors, because metal doors, they can still use it like 10 years warranty on them, that's it. And some lower quality, uh, even less than that. So fiberglass and any door. I know why they did because um, I think the siding, whoever did the siding, jumped over the old window brick mold. So they they avoid to, to do anything with the siding. So they used standard three inches door and they basically trim whatever was on the outside to cover. You know, they, they ordered without brick molding and they went over existing gem with aluminum just to cover everything. Uh -huh. To do this correctly, I mean, there will be a little bit more effort to, to do. Uh, to look good and everything. The size is fine, but uh, again, because whatever the siding didn't do again. So how would you have made this? One solid piece? Well, that this is again, the, the frame is, is usually uh, flush on the outside. Again, uh, what they did, I have no idea why they did. Like, well, they tried to cover whatever was missing on the outside. not the door but I just want just so that you'll see I am really mad at these guys I'm mad at the city this is an unusual situation when they when they presented me with this contractor's bid I said okay well these guys must be good this city uses them I don't have to ask any questions look at all these lengths are all different I <laughs> And this is this. How can you just not look and screw a board in straight? I don't know. You might be right. Maybe I'm drugs or something because it's, you know, there was something really wrong with these guys. Because a normal, even a normal, inexperienced person knows when a board's crooked and when it isn't. You don't need tape measure the logo tape. You just you set up your table saw with whatever you got fixed here. Zing zing zing. Right here. Take a look at this. Look at how crooked that post is coming up from the ground. <laughs> well, and, I mean, I can't expect to do something like that better the first time I ever had a bunch of contractors do all this kind of work ever in my life, so I didn't think I had to sit on their shoulders and watch every move. By the time I started noticing things, it was too late, and the city would not tell them to fix things. They did tell them to fix some of them, and the guys were all coming back like once a week at one point, fix every stupid little thing. Now look, I just want to make you laugh. See the roof here on the um. You stand here and look at the house across the street and see how crooked that is. The left side is lower, right? Well, I can see the Well, they replaced this post because the, the stairs were all rotted, and they didn't get it even. For each door or for both? For, for, one, for one door, yeah. yeah. For one door. No, I'll pay you guys, they pay me, and then they can collect the money from that contractor. Because yeah, they did a roof, they did a lot of chimney work. They, a lot of they, they had to go into the tear off the siding on the back wall because there was a lot of water damage. It's a huge project. I put $43,000 into it, and that's just making me very mad. They didn't do much improvement for them, I guess. Not, not to my mind. It's a lot of, lot of these guys who work for cities for insurance. And they, I've been hearing the stories all over. I mean, after especially last winter with the leakages and stuff, they were doing a lot of uh, work for 
insurances in IA, like two or three customers who basically got sick of them, everything. I mean, they, they make more damage actually than improvement after. I mean, they, they, they paint the walls and they paint the same time, house and floors. They didn't even cover it. So, you know, what is supposed to have a... The plumbing and heating guy came and they had to upgrade my... Uh, so they ran some ducts and ducts, and they were crooked. And then the, you know, the hangers that they use, right? They were just like shitty and hanging, and the screws weren't screwed in all the way. And then. You know, the hangers that they use, right? They were just like shitty and hanging and the screws weren't screwed in all the way and This was this was plumbing and heating. Now, what if they put a, 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 an application in the paper that says "wanted a few drunken stoned carpenters who will work cheap"? Oh God! You got that right. So you know what I think that's really sad though, because the guy tells me, "Oh, nobody else complains," and I'm thinking these poor people, people with low income who have very hard lives. Somebody comes in and says, "Oh, we'll fix all of this, and you don't have to pay it back for you know." So they're just grateful. So they're not going to say, oh, this is fucked up. Yeah, which is in, um, they're getting ripped off. That's my point. I feel sad for this. I thing think that the city's supposed to do the whole project, this and that, and we went for the bidding, and we didn't even uh, submit anything because there's just no... I mean, I, I knew what they were looking for was just a bunch of mess, and uh, so we're not going to even get involved in it. It's cousin of some other cousin who works for the city or do the work, and, you know, the, otherwise it'd be like no end of... Uh, yeah, so I want to be covered for the duration because I'm going to continue to discover shit. I haven't even, you know, I'm not going around looking. I'm just, when something, when I see something...